Okay, welcome back to my You Ask Me Questions, I Tell the Answers unboxing channel. It's me, the Queen of the Bane, and I'm here to answer all of your burning questions that you have about me. I know, you are up hours at night just thinking you need to know more about me. And so I am here to answer all your questions. And uh, I have only seen a couple of these. I haven't seen most of them. So these are questions that Fudgers submitted. That they want answered. And so I'm going to try to answer them. Um, okay. So we're just going to start. Um, first, have you ever eaten while on the toilet? Wow. This is a question that only someone who has eaten on the toilet would ask. I asked it. Okay, producer. Yikes. Um, of course. Well, I say of course. It sounds like something I would do. But I have such a bad memory. I've definitely thought about food while on the toilet. Making room for the next meal, if you will. Um, but whether I have actually eaten on the toilet, I'm not sure. Probably a candy bar. There's always candy bar wrappers in my, in my pockets. So, probably. Very good question. Burning. Deep question, which I appreciate. Can you describe what a pudding is in England? I can't. Don't even get me started. It is a straight up nightmare. That I was from your wifey. I almost feel triggered by that question. <sighs> okay. A pudding in England is any dessert. But then there are certain English desserts that are most specifically puddings. And then there's also things that are called puddings that aren't desserts at all. <laughs> like Yorkshire puddings. But that's not a real dessert. But it's still called a pudding. It also is not like an American pudding. It's just a bread thing. But then any dessert is a pudding. But then some desserts I think you wouldn't call a pudding. It's a whole thing. And it's very, very confusing. And almost enraging at some points. So I don't know what a pudding in England is. It's a dessert, but don't even don't even go down that road. It's just a deep, dark road you'll never find the end of. Okay, way to bring it down. Whoever submitted that question, I think it was my wife. Really brought the mood down. How do you stay so fudgy? Well, this brings it up. Well, I only shower about once a week. I find that brings a real natural fudge factor. <laughs> okay, well, didn't come out the way I thought. <laughs> uh, not talking about my butt. That, well, moving on. I would say, uh, you know, not non-frequent showering is helpful. Uh, I don't know. I just eat a lot of ice cream, eat too much pizza, heavy on the cheese. <laughs> You just really got to be feeling yourself. Be liking your own vibes and your natural aroma. And I would say that really does it. Yeah. Just exude a real confidence, which I think is helpful. What a good question. What's your favorite color? Probably purple. Purple is a very good color. After that, maybe green, but definitely purple. Should I get a switch? A hundred percent. Absolutely. Now, do I play it? Not really, because video games are hard. And I know I look like a 14 year old boy who would be really into video games. Not really, too confusing. My brain can't really handle them. You should, because they're cool, but I can't really play them. Also, the controllers are so small for my giant fat sausage fingers. So it's very difficult, but 100% is very cool. My wife likes to play it, nerd alert, and she loves it. How did I pick the name Bean Fudge? Okay, well, I wish the story was more interesting. Fudgers out there, you know that, you know those Bush's Baked Beans? And those commercials where it's like, roll that beautiful bean footage. I said that, and then I think my producer asked if I had said, roll that beautiful bean fudge, and that made me laugh really hard, because what's bean fudge? And so, I don't know, I just decided bean fudge, that's it, that's the name. And then disappointed when I found out there was actually fudge that you could make out of beans. Terrible. I, it's terrible, really brings the name down. 
So roll that beautiful bean fudge was how I came up with the name and I thought it was hilarious. Favorite mm, car from cars. Cat from cats. <laughs> Thank God, because I've never seen the movie Cars. <gasps> Favorite cat from the movie Cats. Oh my God, that what an incredible movie going experience. I've seen it twice in theaters. I would love to see it a million more times. Highly recommend dancing, laughing, um, feeling horrified all at the same time. Uh, my favorite cat from Cats is, oh God, real cat fans out there are going to be real mad. There's the one and he's the railway cat, tap dances into oblivion and he is an incredible butt. What a butt on a cat. Never seen such a hot butt on a cat before. Oh, Skimble Shanks. Skimbleshanks, the railway cat, the cat of the railway. Wow, good butt, nice dancing, lo love his mustache. Skimbleshanks all the way. Also Gumby Cat, the one that's the Gumby Cat, Jenny Any Dots. She's also very good because there's that one part where it looks like she's holding her own intestine and I really like that part. So I also like Jenny Any Dots, but mostly Skimbleshanks because of his butt. I just want to speech about moleskins. That's not a question, but a demand. And maybe I'll make another video where I just talk about moleskins. I think I already made that video kind of, and it was what's in my bag because I do love a moleskin and I actually need to get more. And if you want to see that video where I talk a long time about moleskins, which I know sounds very exciting and you definitely want to see it, you can just click on the link here and you'll be able to find it. So that's something new and fancy we can do. It's pretty good. I know you're impressed. Should I get a PhD? I would say 100% no, absolutely not. Why? No point. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with it? The only thing you can do with it is teach, and who wants to teach? Yikes. Thank you to all my teachers out there. I'm so thankful for you because it sounds like the worst job in the world. Very important but truly nightmarish and terrible. And I am so thankful that you exist so that I don't have to do that. What prompted you to start making videos? That was from your mother-in-law. Oh, my amazing mother-in-law. Thank you very much. Well, really it's because I watch a lot of YouTube. Boy, do I love YouTube. I mostly like videos of people just staring at the camera talking. I don't know if that reminds you of anybody, but those are my favorite videos. I just like really long ones. And I, you know why I talk so much. I love really long ones where people just drone on about stuff. I love that in the background. I like a little bit of ASMR where people eat silently and make those eating noises with their mouth. And I know some people, including the producer, thinks that's disgusting and is horrified, but I kind of love it. I like to watch people fix cars. Do I fix cars? I but I like to watch people talk about fixing cars. I love a nail video, like a nail tutorial. Do I do nails? No, but I like to watch people do it. I, um, I mean, I'll watch almost anything. YouTube inspired me to make videos. And then I think my producer told me I'd be a superstar. Um, and I feel like that definitely has happened. So I decided to take her advice. What is your greatest fear? Oh my God. Way to go, Vivian. Thank you for watching, but that has really made me panic. I'm panicking on the inside. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. What's my greatest fear? Well, I'm very scared of robbers. It sounds old timey, but like robbers who come in and, you know, like destroy your house and hurt you. So I'm afraid of that. And probably you're afraid of that now too. Hadn't thought about that until I talked about it. You're welcome. Also, I'm very scared of coronavirus right now. I haven't left my house in a week so yeah thank you Vivian for that wonderful question what are the most important things to have in my pantry to give me the best bean fudge inspired life during this difficult time a hot sauce definitely you can spice up anything with hot sauce ice cream very important what other things do you need moleskins hashtag moleskins sponsor me I think I've asked before but I would really like you to sponsor me moleskins you need that for when your feet get so fat and swollen from all of the fatty, salty food you're sitting around eating in quarantine, they start to rub on your slippers. Then you know it's bad and you gotta break out those moleskins. So you need those. As I said, always Excedrin. Coke Zero Cherry Vanilla. Ooh, that is some good shit. That is so good. So that you need that as well. A blanket, 
big clothes. They said pantry. Oh. <laughs> if you keep clothes in your pantry, I would highly suggest very big clothes. Very oversized clothes, sweatpants, shorts, your TV remote, always chocolate. What would my Real Housewives catchphrase be? <gasps> my God, this is too much pressure. I love Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's the number one best, followed by Real Housewives of New York. Imagine you're in the ball gown. Yeah. The lights are flashing. Yeah. You spin around, your hair flicks. And yeah. It says, bean fudge. <laughs> and your voice goes, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I would say. What would bean fudge say? I would say something like, that's not Chanel number no. five you smell. That's the fart of the bean fudge. <laughs> <laughs> fart so good, it smells like Chanel number no. five. You know the world's best perfume and how good it smells? That's what bean fudges farts smell like. Something like that. Yes, I'd go heavy, heavy down the fart road. My farts smell so good, they smell like, insert expensive perfume name here. <laughs> I think I could say that. Bean fudge. <laughs> okay. Bean fudge. Your mama's so fat, I can see it from outer space. Why am I in outer space? No. <laughs> Why are you fat shaming? We get so mad at housewives for fat shaming. No, I wouldn't. Bean fudge. You just got fudged. I think I might say that. And then people were like, ooh, what does it mean to get fudged? We'll find out by watching the show. It really keeps you guessing. Cliffhanger, really. And I would want to be holding something. So I would be from the Real Housewives of Springfield, Missouri. And so maybe I would be holding cashew chicken. And then just as it started to cut away, you would see me shoving it in my face. Something like that. I would definitely watch that show. I would watch Real Housewives of Springfield, Missouri. 100%. And I would definitely want to be cast. Thank you for watching all of this just randomness. I hope it brings you some joy and happiness in this weird time of coronavirus. Um, we're going to try to make more videos. Still working on try to be a model. Hope you enjoy them. Hope they, hope they make you happy. And stay fudgy, as always. No matter what, stay fudgy. Thanks. <laughs>